Hi guys, how you doing? What up? Your girl Jess back again and we're gonna do a quick unboxing. Um, this is my third box um, from my subscription with the red ripped bodice. I'm gonna say the red bodice. That sounds sexy. But the ripped bodice. Um, I didn't, I filmed one for last month for my last um, box that they sent me. Um, but I just, I didn't, uh, I didn't have the time or the patience to edit it and then I was like okay you got a YouTube channel for a reason get your shit together so when this box came I was like I definitely have to do another unboxing for the month so this is my unboxing for October um, read romance and repeat from the ripped bodice so let's open this shit together okay try not to cut my seal all right what do we got what do we got happy reading st. Martin's press publishing group okay it is what is this what is this? We got like a little pouch that. Is this a makeup bag? Handcrafted really versatile. Ooh, look at this. It's a little makeup bag with a typewriter. Oh no, it's a pencil case. <laughs> it's a fucking pencil case. And it's really cute. Thank you, Hazel Maid. Look at that. Okay, awesome. That's our gift. Okay. First book is Kate Bateman's, ooh, A Reckless Match, first in a new series, To Love or To Loathe. Oh, God. Is this enemies to lovers? I bet it is. God damn it. Meet the Davies and the Montgomery families, two households locked in an ancient feud. Uh, their families have been bitter rivals for hundreds of years, but even in their... Even, but even if her feelings once crossed the line between love and hate, she certain Griff never felt the same. Now she's too busy saving her family from ruin to think about Griff and the other devilish Davy siblings. Uh, since he's off being scandalous in London, it's not like she'll ever see him again. Dot dot dot. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have um, some en en <laughs> enemies to lovers, but not really because there's some mutual pine and obliviousness clearly going on here. Um, let's see here. What, what other tropes did I notice? Feuding families. So, we, oh, okay, so we've got some forbidden love there. Um, yeah, that's, that's three whole last tropes, bro. I'm not going to read. I'm not gonna read this. 321 pages. I don't want to read 321 pages of two people pretending to hate each other or assuming that the other one hates them. And the whole book, you're just like, good God, can you two get over yourselves? Like, I can't do that. I, I'm sorry, Kate Bateman. I'm, I'm gonna have to unhaul this. You know what? When I do a, 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 <laughs> an unhaul next year. I think this might be in the file. I was about to say we shall see, but like now I'm I'm lying. Like, oh man, not my bag. And I like historical romances. I'm just very picky about them because they are super tropey. And this one already has like three noticeable tropes in it already, just from reading the description on the back. So, um, yeah. And when they're super tropey like that. That means they're super predictable, and I'm just, like, there's a, oh, there's only a certain amount of, of predictability I can handle, and I don't think I can handle it in a reckless match. They're good-looking people, though. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a on haul this. All right, let's see. Book number two, what have we got? A Second Chance at First Love, The Shoddy Romance. No, oh, excuse me, the shoddy. Yeah, the shoddy setup. They're both Desi, I think. It looks like they might be Desi. Okay, let's see what this is about. What if you found out your ex was your perfect match? Okay, I'm already intrigued. Okay. High school sweethearts Rita and Milan were a golden couple until the day he broke her heart. Now, six years later, Rita has turned her passion for furniture restoration into a career and has an almost perfect boyfriend, Neil. Okay, already I'm intrigued because um, she has a unconventional job 
an unconventional job for a romance. And she does furniture restoration, which is typically a very uh, masculine profession, but I'm here for this. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. The last thing she needs is for Milan to waltz back into her life, but that's just what happens when her well-meaning mother tries to set them up. She's got a man though. Why is her mama trying to set her up when she's got a man? Only this time Milan actually needs her business ex expertise not her heart to flip a hard sell hard to sell house for his reality his reality agency good lord i'm so sorry i do how to read i promise <laughs> let me try that again only this time milan actually needs her business expertise not her heart to flip a hard to sell house for his um, realty agency rita begrudgingly agrees to help but she's not taking any risk okay so oh, all right okay so i'm assuming her mother put them in contact together so she could help him sell this haunted house. I'm assuming it's haunted. <laughs> it's, I don't think it is, but it's a hard to sell house. It's got to be a murder house. It's got to be a murder house. Anyway, <laughs> Rita begrudgingly agrees to help, but she's not taking any risks to prove she's definitely over Milan. She signs herself and Neil up for, what is this? Oh, myshoddy.com, a Desi, ah, I was right, a Desi matchmaking site famous for its success stories and trustworthy enough to convince everyone they're the new and improved couple. But Rita is shocked when Mashadi's perfect match for her is it Neil, it's Milan. Ignoring the website is one thing, but ignoring Milan proves much harder as the two of them dive deeper into work and their past, Rita begins to wonder if her match wasn't so wrong after all. Okay, so what it sounds like is uh, Milan needs Rita's help. <laughs> and helping him restore a house that he is trying really hard to sell and hasn't been able to sell in the past. And he contacted her mother asking for her assistance and he, she put him in touch with her daughter, Rita, and now they're working together on this house. And in order to not feel so insecure about their relationship, Rita and Neil decide to try out this website called myshoddy.com which is a Desi matchmaking site, um, famous for success stories. So they probably did that in order to prove, yeah, we're meant for each other. And she ended up, unfortunately, not being matched with Neil, but being matched with her ex, Milan. So, and it's a second chance romance. You guys know I love some second chance romance. And they're, they're people of color. Oh, they're Desi. Yes, you know what? I will read this. I will read this in um, possibly April. I think April is AAPI um, Heritage Month. Yeah. Yeah, I'll read it during AAPI Heritage Month. Okay. It'll go on the list. I'd actually love it and be shocked if they did end, end up together and just like went about their lives peacefully with closure. Um, especially after... Well, they were high school sweethearts. They can't still be upset about some shit that happened in high school between them. Anyways. <laughs> um, awesome. Okay. So, I've, I got one book I like um, and I'm interested in. And I got one that I am definitely not interested in. Um, okay. So, those are my two books uh, that the Rip Bodice have sent me for the month of October. I am going to keep one and give the other away in an unhaul at some point next year i'm hoping to do a um an unhaul possibly around march i mean i've got a ton of books in this room and the shelf sitting in front of me and i have a ton of books in um my second bedroom that my stepson is sitting in so i know there's there's going and I, I and if I wait all the way to March, I know there's definitely going to be some books that I don't want to keep. I usually unhaul books to my public library. Um, I don't really sell them on eBay. Um, not a fan of doing that. I would just rather give them free to the public library and have them at the disposal. Of anybody who's has a library card and is interested in reading them. Thank you so much, Rip Bodice, for these books. I appreciate them. I love the little pencil case. Oop, upside down. So thank you so much, Hazel Maid, for that. That is going to do it. 
for this unboxing. Um, thanks for stopping by, beautiful people. Love you, love you, love you. Please, please, please pay your library fines. Uh, don't let that shit get out of hand. Have a good night. See you guys next time. Bye.